What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you can tell, this is video two of me comparing a name brand box of cards to a Amazon mystery group of cards. And yeah, I talked a bunch about it in the football card unboxing video. So let's just hop right into the baseball one. Uh, I'm going to start with the Amazon one again. So I'm going to push this baseball one to the side and I hope you enjoy. And these cards are actually from the same uh, company that the football cards came from, Cosmic Sports Collection in Vegas. But this box is definitely much different, as you can tell. It's just a clear thing. And I don't know if you can tell, like, that there's some thick cards up at the top. And one thing I learned from the football video was that they put the, like, uh, autograph cards on the very top. So what I'm going to do is once I figure out how to open this cube, I'm going to take those cards, put them at the bottom, like how the professional on card box or what you, you know what I mean they put them at the bottom so it's like the last and I feel like that's a great idea so once I figure out how to open this I will take the the top few cards put them at the bottom and split the de deck in half do the top and hey let's just get to this um guessing it's right here so I'm gonna try to make a little cut I guess uh, and hey if you got knives at home or if you're little kids watching this don't just stab stuff with knives like I just did. Like, be a little bit careful. I'm dumb. So, uh, but yeah, anytime you're working with a knife, just, you know, cut away and don't do what I just did. But, so see, you learn. Oh, there's a back one too. Man. Maybe one day I'll not be. Maybe one day I'll be smart, but today is not that day. Okay, let's see if this, does this open it? Holy, holy moly. I don't know how to open this. Back to the trusty old knife. I want to just like saw into it, but... The football one, it was at least just like a little cardboard box that uh, just kind of, once you figured out where to open it, it just slid right up. Oh, and there we go. It's just getting them all down in there. And that's how that works. So, okay. So we got them. Yeah, and that's like solid, like plastic too. So i just push that out of the way there. Take the top few cards. Move them to the bottom. I'm going to split this deck right, split it in half. Group right there. Let's hop into the baseball thing. So, starting off, we got John Gray of the Rockies. I don't think he plays for them anymore. And that's one thing that I didn't say before is that I did collect football cards in the past. If you watch the football, video you would know that is I've never really gotten into like hockey and baseball cards which is what this video and the next video will be so yeah this is kind of a new experience for me and if it's a new experience for you we're, we're in this together okay wow so these are like got like a nice little picture and, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you I'm probably not gonna know a lot of these people from the baseball and hockey one so this might be a little bit faster Raymond Martinez Denny Nagel. And like I said in the football one, that these mystery boxes have cards from anywhere from, you, you know, the 1900s at some point to all the way up to present day. So these players are going to be, there's going to be a wide range of spectrum from the 2010 cards to the, you know, 70s, 80s, whatever. So. Yeah, I have, like, no idea who most of these players are. Alex. Man, these baseball ones seem kind of hard to read. Like, I don't even know if you could see that on the camera. Alex Fernandez. I'm right in front of these cards, and I can't even hardly read them. Tony Phillips. Oh, there's another one that got stuck in there. Danny Bichette. That's a nice, like, little shiny holographic card. Oh, here, here we go. Cleveland Indians. Another one of those extinct teams that if you watch the football one you know there was some redskin 
Redskins cards in that box, which it's a shame because I I personally believe that that Chief Wahoo logo right there on the hat, I don't know if you can see that, but I thought that was like one of the best logos ever. But hey, you have to go woke now, right? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but just got to keep going on. Jim Clancy, not to be confused with Tom Clancy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of these baseball cards do seem to be older, whereas if you did watch the football one, they seem to be more on, like, the 90s up, where these definitely seem to be, like, classics. Darnell Wetmore, Marlins. Got a Mets. Yeah, these baseball cards definitely seem to be older, but I don't know how long they've even been making baseball cards. I feel like they baseball was cards were more popular back in the day, whereas, like, football and... I think basketball cards are actually kind of popular now, but I don't know. It's been years since I ever collected anything. So we we'll just keep it moving. Mike Morgan. Here you go. Montreal Expos. Larry Walker. Don't know who it is, but Expos, they did become the Washington Nationals. Rangers. Greg Harris. Yeah, a lot of these baseball cards seem like super old. So, hey, if you're into older baseball cards and stuff, then I definitely recommend, you know, this box for you. Then then you'd probably know who these players are and they'd be right up your alley. So, Danny Gladden. Yeah. Really have no idea who most of these people are. So, sorry if I'm going kind of fast. Keep having to flip it around. They're, they're not in order. Here's another Indians one right there. Bud Black. Randy Milligan. Cecil Fielder. I want to say this was Prince Fielder's uh, father. But I could be wrong. Chris Haney. Another Montreal Expo. Yeah, I, I, I think they should bring back the Expos. I think give Canada another team. Oh, this one, this one's cool. Top, top prospects outfielders. Got Jacob Brumfield, Jeremy Burnett's from the Mets. Uh, Brumfield was from the Royals. DJ Doger from another Mets. And then Alan Cockrell from the Indians. That's really cool. Kind of has like four guys in one. Scott Hattenberg. Jeremy Hernandez. Bradley Zimmer. Indians. Bradley Zimmer. This might be more recent. Yeah, 2017, so this must be like a throwback card. It's kind of a thick, thick card. I don't think you can tell by my camera, but it's definitely interesting. Then we got AJ Hinch, I think. That's definitely a cool, uh, shiny type of card. And then we got another one, Bobby Abreu. Carl Everett. Astros outfielder. Some of the font on these, I don't know how it's picking up on the camera, but it's kind of hard to read. Jose Offerman. Mike Bordick. Daryl Kyle. Pat Clement. Oh, there's one more. It is Burks. Ellis Burks. Not going to lie, I don't know who, I don't know who like any of these guys are. I feel like so dumb. Right now, not being able to elaborate on any of these guys, but hey, it is what it is, and we're all just learning. And this is just kind of a quick review. So if you're on the fence about buying this box on off of Amazon, then maybe this will help you or not. Got this one. Yeah, I think the font on some of these cards is super weird. Yeah, 1993 All Stars. Cal Ripken. I do know who Cal Ripken is. So that's one out of all of them. <laughs> Jeff Shaw, another expo. Tony, Tony Gwen, I think. Is this Tony Gwen? Yeah, it is. Jeff King from the Pirates. Flipping around, we got Lance Johnson. Old White Sox logo. Rupert Jones. 
that is another fun thing I like is like when you get older cards like this, you you see like these logos that you know the teams used back in the day that you can kind of see the evolution of the logo to like what it is now. Milwaukee's kind of been relatively similar the whole time. Same with the Dodgers. These classic ones, they don't really mess with too much. Oh, back to back Dodgers. Edwin Nunes. I'm trying to look at that logo right there. What team is that? The Mariners. Wow. See, look at the Mariners logo right there. That's that's insane how much it's changed. Now it's the S. The Angels have like the California. Well, they were the Angels of Anaheim, so they've gone through some stuff. Oh wow, this is cool. Cleveland Indians rookie card chrome. Gene Mar Gomez. I have no idea who this guy is, but that's still a really cool card. Got Chief Wahoo right there. Yeah, that's definitely really cool. What year was this? Um, 2010 tops it says right there. I don't think you can read that, but yeah, that's, that's a really cool card right there. I like that. Paul O'Neill. Some cards are sticking together here. Marlins, Juan Marinos. Don't know who that is. Alex Wimmers. Also don't know. Dusty Baker. Here you go. Manager of the Giants from 2002. Dusty Baker is currently the Astros uh, manager, and he just won the World Series, and it was his first. So this is, he's still in the league now, which is kind of insane. Yeah, these cards are, for some reason, the football cards didn't stick together, but these baseball ones really are. We got Christian Guzman. Still don't know who these guys are. Tommy Green. This is an interesting looking card. Cincinnati Reds, Danny Graves. Have no idea who it is, but. Oh, here we go. Wade Bo Boggs, Boggs, third baseman. Let's see what year this card is. 1988. So, yeah. Definitely a lot of old, older cards here in the baseball. It's 1987. Daryl Strawberry. Rob Deere. Don't know who that is. Jose De Leon, maybe? Eddie Murray. I like this card. That outline is pretty cool. Ricky Jordan, Phillies. See how much the Phillies P has changed. The Yankees. Willie Randolph. Don't know who that is. Ricky Wright. Dennis Eckersley. Ken Hill from the Cardinals. Chris Carpenter, Will Clark, Bill Picota. Sorry, I'm speeding through this. It's like I don't, I don't really know any of these guys and I can't really elaborate much on them. Brett Wallace, I like this, this card. Definitely looks has that newer feel to it. Ronnie, I have no idea who this one. Ronnie Sedino, the Pirates. Aaron Cook, Hong Chin Ku, I believe that's how you say his name, from the Dodgers, Jeff Tackett, Arthur Rhodes, Tom Pagnoski, I have no idea who these guys are, I apologize, Bernard Gilkey, Chudo Martinez, Jose yeah, Oquendo, Mark Gardner, here's an expo. And then, okay, so we're to the bottom of the stack. I think the top two cards are what are the super good ones. So, J.D. Martinez, here's here's a guy that plays still. We got Ahmed Rosario, who he came to Cleveland as part of that uh, Francisco Lindor, Carlos Carrasco deal, and he's holding the fort down there at short. Got a New York Yankees team card, which that's pretty cool. And, oh, Andrew Benintendi. What year are these? 2021. Oh, so these are just like last year's cards, which is, that's really cool. Andrew Benintendi doesn't play for the Red Sox anymore. Let's just get this baseball card out of here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yankee Signature Series Upper Deck, Pride of New York. Ron Blomberg, designated hitter. That is really cool. And we'll flip it around. And this is from the year 2003. Yeah, that is really cool. And then this, wow. 
Megilio Hornez? I have no idea. This is like a patchy uniform right there from the Red Sox. Look at that. It's shiny. Got the uniform. That is really cool. Let's see what year this is from. Wow. From the White Sox Tops Chrome. This is from 2003. That is a really cool looking card right there. So, hey, even though I didn't know these guys, this is a really cool pool in my opinion. Uh, yeah, just look at that. That yeah, is really cool. So, get a nice autograph from the Yankees. Get this Chicago White Sox jersey card patch. So, that is really cool. And I didn't mention this before, but I mentioned it in the NFL video, is that in these Amazon boxes, they're all from the same company. And you're guaranteed to get two, like, hit cards, I think they call them. So, it's like I could have gotten two of jersey cards, two autographs, or in this case, I got one of each. I'm not going to tell you what I got in the NFL video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And uh, so, yeah, um, I think those are really cool pools. I really like this, uh, like, chrome one with the jersey patch. I think that is really cool. And then the signature, yeah, it's – I have no idea who it is, but I definitely think it's definitely a clean and interesting signature. So put the cards out. And I'm going to leave these in the fr – I'm going to put these up here just uh, for the rest of the video. And moving on to the 2023 Top Series 1 box. Uh, I don't know if you can get autographs and jersey cards in this guaranteed. But, hey, we're just going to find out. It's, yeah, I need to be a lot more careful with this knife. I'm just kind of being reckless with it, which never do. Never be reckless with knives. But I like to live life dangerously. So... Get that wrapper out of here, and let's open this thing up. And there's some um, little talking about what all I can get. Guaranteed to include one of 50 different team logo patch cards featuring some of the best MLB players. So I'm going to get a patch card, which is cool, uh, from all 30 teams, so I could get any team. And here we go. going to just take all these packs out of here. And the price points of these boxes are very similar, this one and the Amazon one. So that's why I wanted to compare them is because, you know, you get roughly the same amount of cards. I think you get more in this one because it's 7 times 14, which I'm not doing math off the top of my head. And uh, that one you get 100 guaranteed. So, yeah, I'll put this one out of frame. I'll put the packs over here and I'll just grab and draw. And one of the comparisons I did make in the NFL video was that if you like opening, ripping open packs and seeing what you get that way, then I definitely recommend uh, like getting the newer boxes, not these mystery boxes, because like you could tell, it's just like a group of cards and you can just shuffle through them where these ones, it's like you got 14 cards and you got to open each pack, which if that's what you're into, then this is what I would recommend. Otherwise, if you want a wide array of cards from all the different years and like different brands then go go with the mystery box and that's another thing is like i know tops has a deal with baseball right now through their agreement to where it's like tops does baseball cards panini does football cards and like upper deck does hockey whereas if you get the mystery box it's like you get cards from all the other things like this is an upper deck card which I'm not going to be able to pull any upper deck cards out of these new ones. And then this one, for instance, is actually Topps Chrome. So you can see the leap Topps has made from uh, 2003 to now. And if I pull a uh, Topps like, jersey card like this, that would be so cool to just do a side-by-side -side of essentially 20 years. Yeah, because it's 2023 now. 20-year jump from what it was then. So starting off, we got rookie card Derek Hall, Matt Strom. Tommy Edmond, Brett Batty, another rookie card, Lucas Giolito, Buddy Kennedy, another rookie card. Wow, three rookie cards. Stephen Kwan, probably one of my favorite players right now, uh, plays for the now Cleveland Guardians. Uh, there's the new logo. I definitely think it's a downgrade from the Chief, but like the players say, they play for the name on the front, which is Cleveland. They don't, the name is just the name is a name which and it's got like this little trophy right here which says tops 
all-star rookie, which, hey, Quan did. He finished top three in AL Rookie of the Year voting last year, and he won a gold glove. So that was huge. And I know just this opening series, because at the time of this filming, uh, opening weekend has just ended, and he had a five RBI game. So he's picking up right where he left off. Got Danny Jensen. Ozzy Albies. Look at this. So it's kind of like a throwback card. Uh, 35 year anniversary with tops. So from 1988 to 2023. Uh, that's definitely cool. Ooh. Look at this. Stars of the MLB rookie card, Adley Rutschman. I definitely think he's going to have a really good year this year. This is a really cool card. I wouldn't say it's chrome, but it's definitely shiny and has a nice look to it. Yeah, that's definitely a really cool card. But yeah, I think Adley Rutschman's definitely going to have a good year this year. Sam Mole. Don't know who he is. Jordan Montgomery. And Josh Josh Smith, another rookie card. Wow. Then we got Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And if you look, which is really interesting, I don't know if you can see this on my camera, but like the edges of these cards almost seems ripped. So when obviously like they print cards, they're printing them on like a line. And this must have been the the cutoff of some point. I don't think you can see that, but I definitely think that's really interesting. And that's one of the things where it's like, uh, if you ever heard of like card grading, this would be something they would definitely take into consideration. Like that would knock these cards down a bunch is having like this rough edge, which I've never actually seen this before opening a pack, having cards like brand new from the factory have that, like, I don't think perforated is the right word, but just kind of having that rough edge, which I, I like, I definitely think it's kind of cool that I got cards like that. But yeah, definitely the star of that pack was Atlee Rutschman, who I think is going to have a great year for Baltimore. And watch out, because I think Baltimore is definitely going to be one of those teams this year that you're going to look up in August and they're going to be right there. So, all right, just moving on to the next pack. Get my fat fingers in there to get the cards. Ugh. Brandon Lowe. Brendan Rogers, Cesar Hernandez, Chaz McCormick. So right off the bat, this card, this pack definitely doesn't have as many rookies in it, but still some good players. Kyle Farmer, Jonathan Heim. I actually don't know who that is. Frank Swindell, Adam Wainwright, just sung the national anthem the other day, which was, hey, it's his last opening day. Why not, right? Flip this card around. Oh, wow, look at that. Max Freed. It's like a, a shiny card. I don't know. This must be one of like the special edition cards or whatever. But yeah, that's definitely a cool, nice shiny card. Then I can see the name on the back right there. Francisco Lindor, stars of the MLB. Definitely another nice looking card. Matches my Adley Rutschman card I pulled earlier. Seth Beer. Josh Wikowski. He's a rookie card. JT Brubaker. Finishing up, we got Brandon Hughes, another rookie card. So we still did get some rookie cards at the end of that. And in this pack, we actually got two, like, shiny, interesting cards in Max Reed and Francisco Lindor. So that was definitely a fun pack. So definitely these baseball card, these baseball card packs seem like there's a, uh, like, a shiny chrome card in every one. So if you're not into autograph cards or like jersey cards and you like the autograph like the shiny chrome looking ones then definitely i'd say these are for you emmanuel class a cleveland guardian probably he's my bet to get the most saves in the american league i think he's a pretty good pitcher julio arise a dodger marco gonzalez the mariner and hey there's the mariners new logo which i know if you skip forward in this or backwards in this video, you've seen like the old one where it's like the M. Keston Hero. And yeah, talking about logos, the Brewers one, like I said earlier in the video too, it hasn't changed much. Tristan Cassis. Casas. Another Red Sox. Frankie Cordero. Paul Goldschmidt. Gunnar Henderson, another rookie card. He's another one that I think could have a breakout year and really help the Orioles. I definitely think, like I said, the Orioles are my pick to be like that dark horse playoff team. Oh, look at that. One-two punch Garrett Cole and Luis Servino. 
that's definitely an interesting looking card. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. And, ooh, the special card in this one, the shiny, Mike Trout. So, man, I've gotten some good shiny cards, I'll call them. Stars of the MLB. Got Mike Trout, Francisco Lindor, Adley Rutschman. So, yeah, that's definitely, definitely a cool card. Got Acuna Jr., Blake Snell. Leon Sosa, I don't know who it is, but it's a rookie. Miguel Cabrera. I think this is, I do believe he came out and said that this is his last year. He's been one of those guys that just consistent and uh, baseball will be sad to watch him go. But yeah, definitely, definitely a good, cool pack. Put that over here. Or I'll move these and just keep putting them at the top. So we got four packs left. This pack seems a lot thicker, so I'll open this one last because maybe it'll have something good in it. I tore that pack open. Get rid of that. Grandel Chizik, I don't know, but they got their City Connect uniforms, which I really think is a good idea. I like how the teams have these City Connect uniforms where they don't got to go by their colors or whatever, and having the mountain range for the Rockies is definitely really cool. Luis Garcia. He's laying down a bunt. If you guys know who Coach Kent Murphy is, uh, he tells you never to bunt, but clearly Garcia didn't get that message. I'm just joking around. Hey, bunting is an important part of baseball. Uh, small ball, as they call it. Albert Almora. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Joey Votto. Michael Chavis. Don't know who that is. Another one of these cards that has like that uh, rough edge on it. Michael Grove, Dodgers rookie card. Here's just a normal Mike Trout. So that's cool. Another Tristan Cassius card, rookie card. And it's kind of has that throwback look to it. And our shiny card is Bo Bichette, which is definitely, definitely cool. And if these shiny cards come in every pack and that's like what you're into, then I definitely recommend these for you. Jacob DeGrom, who doesn't actually pitch for the Mets anymore. This is a 2023 box, so Cody Bellinger, who also doesn't play for the Dodgers anymore, Alex Cobb, and Josh Naylor, and so yeah, yeah, for this being a 2023 pack, you'd think that they'd have like the updated teams on it, so definitely, hmm, definitely interesting. Down to our final three packs. Open this bad boy up. Brad Miller. Luis Robert. If he can stay healthy, then I think the White Sox can be a threat in the Central. And hey, if you want to know how, how I think about all these teams, definitely go check out all my breakdown videos that I've made. Kevin Kiermaier. Shea Langoliers, another rookie card. Cedric Mullins. Alec ba ba Baum, I think. Vinny Pascantino, a rookie card, and he's got another one of those uh, little trophy things for being like an all-star rookie. Jonathan Daza. So the, there's another Rockies one where they have that City Connect uniform. Oh, wow. Look at this. Home run challenge. Pick a game for a shot to win. Nolan Arenado. This is really cool, actually. This is a really cool card. Ooh. Here we go. Garrett Cole started the game. That is really interesting. Got Matt Chapman, Austin Meadows, Christian Vasquez, and rounding out the pack, we got Dylan Bundy. So, down to our final final packs. Just get these cards out of the way. Alex Wood, Jonah Bride, another rookie card. Don't know who it is, though. Pavin Smith. Jake Cronenworth. Just signed that extension with the Padres. Eric Feed. Fetty. Not sure. Jose Altuve. He's got his City Connect uniform on, and sadly he broke his hand in the World Baseball Classic. Antonio Sin... I don't know how to pronounce that last name, and I don't want to butcher it. But hey, he doesn't have the City Connect uniform on. Scott Barlow. Oh, wow. 
Look, th this card is actually... I'm so sorry, guys. My camera actually just cut out, and I had to stop mid-pack. But, yeah, I was just talking about the Shane McClanahan one. You know, they call their pitchers aces, and having this be like an ace card, I think that is actually really cool. And look at the back of that all aces series. This is actually super cool. And it's got like a chrome look to it. That is dope. I really actually like that card. And we got Raphael Devers as the stars of the MLB, Gary Sanchez, Trevor Larnick, Trent Grisham, and Byron Buxton. So yeah, I actually really like this MLB pack. Like this, this ace card right here, that's really cool. So going down to the last pack, and yeah, I apologize. I know you guys probably won't be able to tell too much that my camera cut out. So I'm going to have to edit these videos together. And down to the last pack. Get that out of here. Oh, nice. I can already tell right away. We'll just flip that to the front to get this. Aaron Judge, star of the MLB, led the league in homers last year, hit the first homer of this year. That is nice, nice card. Then, ooh, we got future stars, George Kirby. That's an interesting pool. Then we got just a normal Garrett Cole. Ethan Small, rookie card. Christian Pache. Travis Swaggerty, another rookie card, which is cool. Dean Kramer. Julio Rodriguez. Another one of those nice rookies with the little star thing. He did win Rookie of the Year. Evan Lee, another rookie card. Rizzo Iglesias. I don't know who that is, but that's cool. Oh, and look at this. Pittsburgh. O'Neal Cruz. Like that, so that's like the patch thing I got. It's kind of like... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like rubbery in a way. Like I don't know if you've ever felt a hockey puck. But it feels kind of similar to that. But th yeah, that's really cool right there. Got some nice heft to it. That is a really cool card. Got Kyle Bradish, Brady Singer. And finishing up, we got Seth Lugo and Jesus Sanchez. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to edit these two videos together. I apologize so much that they weren't able to uh, uh, film seamlessly but yeah look at all these stars of the league we got and all these cool cards we got so definitely when it came to the football unboxing one i definitely think like it's just a toss-up of what you want but like look at all these like nice shiny cards of all these players and i really like this ace one and can't forget about the two super nice ones we got in that 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 uh like mystery box but yeah this was definitely a really cool uh opening and i hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video with the hockey unboxing one. So I hope you can you stick around and enjoy these videos. Hit that like button. Subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And have a good day. God bless.